Thank you. Well, I'm one of the old dogs in the room. I look around the room and I see some other old dogs that have been uh, working the streets. Uh, there's no other way to put it. Um, uh, those of you know my background, those of you that don't, I'm a retired police officer, worked 23 years for the city of Newcastle, transitioned to do work with uh, the juvenile probation department. And then as my passion, you know, the social ills that we, we deal with, every community deals with, um, I, I just felt very passionate about to try to do something further within the community. And so ran for county commissioner and was, um, was, was put in that position, and I am most definitely still passionate about the work that I do. Some people say it's one of the hardest jobs you have to me. Days are difficult, but they're never hard because we're always trying to make a difference. And as I look around the room, I see those different people that are making a difference from a lot of different areas. And, and to be part of something more that can happen in this battle that we have is, is very, very important. I'll use two words, two phrases that I say every time I get up to speak. I don't want to use them, but they're so appropriate. Overkill, someone once said to me, when is enough and is, is enough? But you know, we, have, we have curriculum, we have uh, prevention, we have treatment, we have all of these different avenues. When is enough enough? It'll never be enough until there isn't another person that doesn't die from an overdose or does not have to go to a treatment facility for recovery. So overkill is never an issue as far as I'm concerned, as long as there's somebody being killed by the ravages of, of drug or alcohol abuse. The other word, the other phrase is, is it takes a village. And it, it's very, very appropriate. So I don't know what other term we would use. Because again, looking around the room, I see that it's cogs in the wheel. And every single person that is here is dedicated to doing that. They have that commitment, no matter what part of that cog of that wheel that you are, you're here, you're committed to doing it. And that is something that we all need to, to continue to get together, to be together so that we know what is happening in all of the different areas in Lawrence County and in the prevention, education, recovery, all of those areas we need to be informed about. One thing that um, I, I also want to, to bring out is, is we need to get away from the stigma of wanting to do something to assist in this issue that we have. We need to get away from that. One of those ways that we can do that is uh, take a Narcan kit before you leave today. Our friends from the Drug and Alcohol Commission are here. They have Narcan kits with them. Take one with you. Don't bear the, the stigma that, oh my gosh, I'm taking this kit. Someone's going to think that, that I know someone that has a drug problem. Guess what? Everybody knows someone that has a drug problem. So Lift your heads high and take a Narcan kit because it doesn't have to be for you. What if your neighbor comes running out the door, my child accidentally took, took a pill, an opioid that they have a prescription for, and you have a Narcan kit, you could, save, you could save that child's life. I carry one in my car, I have it in my house. I talk about Narcan like I, I have stock in the company. <laughs> so please, um, there's, it's, it's a very, very, Easy nasal spray, there's directions there. It's easier than trying to use a fire extinguisher, okay? Take one, it's a small waiver you have to sign just to show that you have it. And they also have um, the Narcan kit and then there are also the prescription disposal kits. It's actually, when you're talking about getting rid of a prescription and there isn't a drop off box so you don't wanna wait till you know, somebody passes away to get rid of their prescriptions, you don't know what to do with them. It's a small packet, you mix it with water, you put it into that um, prescription bottle with the medication in it, and it makes them inactive and you can dispose of it in your regular garbage. So please, don't hesitate to see our friends, raise your hands at the Drug and Alcohol Commission, they're here to help out as well. I look forward to working with all of you further. I look forward to, to doing all that we can do to not only prevent people from becoming addicted, but to also help those that are in recovery. Thank you. Thank you, Loretta.